Here, when we try to plug in 2 for this limit, we get 4 over 0. So that does not mean undefined. It doesn't mean does not exist. Okay? The function was is undefined at 2, but the limit might not. Okay, we got to check it out. The limit says what's happening on this function as x approaches 2. And hopefully you know by now, if you plug in 2 and you get 4 over 0, that means at 2, our function we're interested in has a vertical asymptote. Now the question is, at 2, so here's 2. At 2 is our function, we know it's an asymptote, so do they both go up like this? Okay, because then the limit will be infinity. Both sides of 2 are headed towards infinity. Or do both sides head down like this? Then the answer would be negative infinity because both sides of 2 are headed down to negative infinity. Or let's do it in red. Does one side go up at this asymptote and one side go down? If this happens, then the limit does not exist because the function is not headed in the same place on the left and the right side of 2. Okay, so what we need to check now is what's happening at a vertical asymptote. Now, really, all we need to know here is what's happening on each side of 2. We know that they're going to infinity. We know it's either going to positive or negative infinity because the numerator is going to get close to 4 and the denominator is going to get super close to 0. And 4 divided by a very, very, very tiny number is going to explode to infinity or negative infinity depending on what the denominator is. So here's what we do. We make a little number line. And we know that we're interested in x equals 2. And all I do is I pick numbers. As x is approaching 2 from the left-hand side, I'm going to plug numbers into this thing and see if I'm getting back positive or negative numbers. So, for instance, if x is approaching 2 from the left-hand side, that's over here, I might pick 1.9. If I plug 1.9 into this thing, I'm going to get 1.9 plus 2. Well, that's 3.9. Over 1.9 minus 2 is negative 0.1. Well, that's going to be a negative number. It's going to be actually negative 39. Okay. If I plug in ne uh, 1.99 or 1.99999 and add 2 to that, so this is what happens when, when x is 1.9 down here. But if I plugged in, let's say we want to check out, well, let's make it closer to 2. Let's make a value closer to 2, like 1.99999. Okay. If I plug this value in, which is super close to 2, but a little bit less, into this function, I get 3.99. Nine, nine, nine. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Over negative. It's going to be a negative number because 1.999, 999, whatever, is less than 2. So when I subtract 2 from it, I get negative 0. 0.00001, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Now what that is going to give me is negative 39 with a bunch of 9s after it. So this is going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3... Four, five, negative three hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Okay, that's a huge number, and that—that's what—that's why it's an asymptote. The bottom's getting super small, and the top is staying relatively close to four. When we're dividing here, this our function really—that was a terrible, terrible axis. Let me try this again. Our function really. What is it? Oh, <laughs> my tablet is a little sideways. That's that's why. There we go. Makes them look a little crazy there. So, there we go. A little bit better. At 2, we know there's an asymptote. And what we just found out here by plugging in numbers a little bit less than 2 is this is going to be going down to negative infinity on this side. If I plug in numbers a little bit bigger than 2, so instead of 1.99999, if we plug in number like 2.00001, number super close to 2 but on the right-hand side, okay, we're going to find out that the top is still close to 4. It's going to be 4.00001. Okay, so if we plug in number like that, we're going to get... 4.00001 over 0 0.00001. And when you divide now, we're going to get a positive number, a huge positive number. So on the right-hand side, it's going up like this. And since they're going in opposite directions, as x approaches 2 from both sides, these graphs are moving away from each other. They're not approaching the same number, so the limit does not exist. Now, if you don't want to go through all that work, which, to be honest, I'm a fairly lazy guy. I usually don't want to go through all that work. All you really need to do is recognize that there's an asymptote and figure out what's happening on both sides of 2 here. Is it positive or negative? So just all you do is think, think about this um, like lo logically, I guess. If you're plugging in numbers super close to 2 but a little bit less than 2, the top is going to be positive, but the denominator is going to be negative. Okay? So on the left side of 2, this function's negative. We know there's an asymptote, and if it's negative, then it must be going to negative infinity. 
On the right hand side of two, when I plug in numbers bigger than two, the top is still positive because it's about four, and the denominator now is positive because x is bigger than two. Well, now we have positive or positive. So that means right there, your graph has to go down on this side, up on this side, and either way you figure it out, the limit does not exist because the left hand limit is not approaching the same thing as the right hand limit.